It is week three of high school football season. Yes, and our sports team is live in Davenport Assumption High School taking the score on the road. Hey, guys. Yeah, another big week of high school football. Friday does mean football. We're super excited to get going on week three. As we mentioned earlier in the show, week three after tonight will be a third of the way through the regular season. It just seems like yesterday we were getting ready for the season and now nearly a third of the way through. Of course, we're here at Assumption High School. Corey, maybe the game of the night here, Assumption and North Scott in a big matchup on the Iowa side of the river. We'll have full coverage of this one for you tonight on the score. Now on the score, we've done something a little different this year. We've been outside using the patio for a couple of years. That makes a lot of work for us. It does, but but it's good because we get food after the show. Yes. So that's a very important that's, thing. That's the key. So this year we figured let's get a guest griller every week. James Zahara did it week one. Last week we had Julian Vandervelde, former Hawkeye, former Eagle, super excited, loves to grill. He knows his way around the grill, but but let me show you what happened. I'm sure you probably have seen it, unfortunately, because people have either been laughing at it or making fun of us about it for quite some time all week. But things got hot. The grill caught on fire because, Corey, we, we learned this, and it wasn't you or me, but you shouldn't cook bacon on the grill. It tends to cause a grease No, so Julian told us ahead of time. He's like, oh, I do it all the time. He's like, I got a flat grill at home, and it's no problem. Will, he doesn't have an open flame on his flat grill, and this is exactly what happened. The smoke started to go, and then... At one point, Julian stepped away from the grill, and when that happened and he opened it up and the flames were everywhere because the bacon grease caught on fire, we knew we were in trouble at that point, and unfortunately, no food was able to be cooked because of the fire. Yeah, there's some good news. First off, I see our engineer, Mike, with an extinguisher. That's when I knew it was, yes. it was serious. We needed to get something taken care of. We did do that. The great news is the grill is okay, and we get to... Man it with another guy this week, and an absolute legend will be joining us tonight as our guest griller. Take a listen. Hey, this is Dan Pearson with FCA. Happy to be the guest griller on Friday night. Hmm, what's cooking? Well, we have six grandchildren, so maybe grilled cheese. But I also happen to know that Matt Randazzo loves liver and onions. We'll see you Friday night on The Score. No. No. No? Are no. you sure? You don't like liver and no, onions I, at all? I don't think I've ever eaten liver and onions, but I can guarantee I don't like liver and onions. But what I do <laughs> like is Dan Pearson, someone very near and dear to our heart. I've been doing this for, for 20 years. I started as an intern for Dan way back in the day when I was at St. Ambrose. And even though we didn't work at the same station, well, you know what it's like. We see each other a lot. We spend right. a lot of days together. I've never been on television with Dan Pearson. That is something that I look forward to doing tonight. I know he's very special to you, too. Yeah, he's actually one of the reasons why I do this job, because he got me interested in this back when I was in college. So it was a pleasure for me to work for him for, with him for 10 years um, at another station across the river. So it was... It was There's another it, station? It, apparently there is. <laughs> but he now works with FCA. Yeah. He helps us out with the FCA Story of the Week all the time. He helps us out shooting games. Just a fabulous human being. Um, just excited to have him on set, have him to actually call a few games yes. tonight. He's going to get a couple games for us and then call a few games. So I'm curious to see what he's going to grow up. It's not liver and onions. It's not going to be grilled cheese, of course. <laughs> Maybe burgers, brats. Uh, I think, we'll, we'll see what's going to happen. But keep it simple tonight after last week. And last week was kind of about the grill. Today's about the guy who's who's manning Absolutely. the grill. And yeah, we're going to put him to work. We're going to have him call in some games and all that kind of stuff as well. So excited to get with him tonight for a great week of high school football. We'll have plenty of games, great games on both sides of the river. Of course, we have this one here we talked about at Assumption. Western Big Six begins conference play tonight with plenty of intriguing matches. Yeah, after a couple of non-conference games, uh, Moline and Quincy. Quincy, the only undefeated team right now in the Western Big Six. They travel to Moline. Uh, last year, Moline had a rally to win that game down there. Uh, Mike Morrissey, saw him earlier this week, said he felt sorry for himself after losing last week. Uh, he says they're a pretty good team and thinks they have a good shot tonight. Of course, Geneseo and Quincy play, and then Sterling's at Galesburg. So a lot of big games in the Western Big Six tonight. Yeah, it's the only half-hour high school football show in town. It's the score. We got a grill. We got Dan Pearson. Super excited for tonight. So we will see you guys tonight at 6 for WQAD News 8 at 6, and then, of course, tonight on the score at 1030. We'll throw back.